One of the lessons I'm talking to you today about is vocal health and how important it is to look after your voice and making sure that you are at your best for your shows and your tours. The best thing to do when you are looking after your vocals is just to keep your instrument healthy. Now when I'm talking about your instrument, what I mean is you. So we're not like guitars, we can't change our strings, we're not like drums, we can't change our drum skins but we have to look after our voice because we only have one voice. So ultimately the most important thing is to look after your body, to look after yourself, exercise, and to have a really good vocal regime too. So when I say vocal regime, what I mean is maybe doing some light warm-ups every day. You know, in an ideal world, we'd have that hour time every day to kind of really dedicate to doing our scales and practicing through our songs. But in a realistic world, you know, you might not get that much time, especially if you've got press and promo. You might just have a little half hour slot just to do a quick warm up. So what could you do to kind of make sure that you're at your best at the time that you really need your voice? There are a few things that I make sure that I'm always doing. One is exercising. I'm making sure that my body is in good shape. I make sure that my body is relaxed. For me, that's doing something like yoga or Pilates and also doing some cardio. If I'm running around on a big stage, if it's an arena stage or a stadium stage, you need to make sure that you have enough energy and enough breath and support to make sure that you're not out of breath and that you can actually enjoy singing instead of being like <gasps> and reaching for the air and screaming for the air in your lungs. So exercise is really, really important. Also what you consume is really important too. You don't want to be coughing and you know having to sniff while you're on stage because it's just not that attractive. Also what I'll try and do is to eat at least two hours before your show. Just give your body time to digest because again it can be really uncomfortable if you're suffering from reflux during a show and again the acid can really damage your vocal folds as well. There are a few little handy tips as well that you should maybe have in your kit bag. So pineapple juice and chamomile tea are really handy to have because they are natural anti-inflammatories. They really soothe the voice if you are suffering from anything and they'll help you relax as well. Another part of my toolkit I will have is a straw handy for me to do some warm-ups. Um, it's really nice gentle warm-up exercise to do if you sing through a straw you just have just enough air pushing through so you're not damaging or you're not forcing anything out of your voice and it's just a really nice gentle warm-up to have on tour so you could have the straw in all day you know just singing humming without having like a really strict and crazy vocal warm-up and that will really help you especially if you've been singing the night before as well if you are touring a lot sometimes it's really good idea just to have a scarf with you as well just a light scarf just to constantly have around your throat just to keep that area nice and warm especially if you're going to a lot of aircon hotels or venues or actually going in planes as well. It just keeps it nice and warm and tries not to dry your throat out. Having a bottle of water as well is probably the most important thing for a singer, making sure that you're lubricated and making sure that it's room temperature as well. So if you have it too cold, it can be a little freezing on the throat and can be uncomfortable as well. The most important thing for me as a singer though is to not be as stressed. And I know that's hard in the day and age that we live in now, but if you can try and keep as relaxed as possible, you are actually giving your instrument, your voice, the best possible way of releasing and doing the best it can in performance, in studio. So if you can, try and relax. If there's something that you know helps you relax you, maybe that's breathing, just maybe take five minutes before your show or five minutes before the studio. Just sit down, take some really nice deep belly breaths just to really relax and centre yourself and centre your voice and centre your breathing so that you know that you can give yourself the best chance on stage. And as singers, it's really important to not be smoking, to not be drinking and obviously don't take drugs. So the reason why the smoking is not so good, smoking actually burns away a lot of the mucus that you need for your larynx to keep nice and lubricated. So it really is damaging for the vocals. Also, I think you'll find that a lot of smokers will cough and what's happening is the vocal folds are actually clapping together, which could actually cause a lot of irritation. They'll be red and they'll be irritated and therefore you won't be getting the best sound. Alcohol is widely accepted, obviously, in our society and in societies all across the world, bar a few. However, if you put some alcohol on your skin, you'll notice how it dries out. So if you're drinking alcohol, it actually dries out the throat. So although it might seem like you're getting some Dutch courage, what you're actually doing is drying out your throat and actually not making your instrument to the best of its ability. 
Coughing can be part of day-to-day -day life for most people. However, with singers, if you can try and avoid coughing, it's a really good thing. As I mentioned earlier about the smoking, it can be very, very damaging. It's really rough to kind of have your vocal folds clapping together really, really hard. So you might think, well, I can't not cough. How can you not cough? The best thing to do actually is just to tilt your head slightly and just swallow. If you swallow, you'll find that actually it will help that tickle go away. If not, taking a drink of water can also help that too. Try not to clear your throat. That constant <coughs> is also really, really not so good for your voice. It's doing the same thing as a cough, not quite as aggressively, but it is consistent as well. So again, if you could swallow, tilt your head and swallow once again, that will really help you clear your throat. As musicians, we're always in loud environments, whether it's on a stage, at a festival, going out to the after party afterwards, or even just networking at a jam night. One of the hardest things for singers is actually communicating with people over a loud level. Rather than shouting over the loud music and competing against these incredible sound systems, I tend to just push my thumb over someone's ear, like this, and then it helps to amplify the sound. I don't need to talk loudly, I can talk normally, and therefore it will really help me. If you're really struggling to not do this and you, you're finding that you are shouting, Maybe talk to people outside where it's quieter or try and avoid those nights out. When I'm on tour, I don't go out. I go out on my last night when I know my voice is safe and I know that I can enjoy myself and have a good time. Maybe I'm being a bit strict to myself, but for me as a singer, the most important thing is that I do my job well and that I perform well. You know, the whole reason for me to sing and when I perform is to be able to create and communicate. And if I don't have my voice, I can't communicate. So my voice is my most important thing for me. So therefore I need to look after it.